We have great news for everybody. It is key times our newspaper will be available at ShopRite stores across Gauteng from this Tuesday, the 26th of April, for absolutely free. Look for the newspaper stand. It's written in Itiski Times between the tail points and the entrance and just take your copy for free. And once you have the newspaper, you can enter our hashtag Itiski Selfie Competition by sharing a picture with yourself holding the newspaper on Facebook or Twitter and two lucky readers will win 500 rands cash every week and an extra 500 rands in betting credit if you have an account with World Sports Betting. It is TV powered by World Sports Betting. Mamelodi Sundowns 1, Petro Atletico 1. What we thought was going to be the easiest uh, fixture of the quarterfinals turned out to be the toughest fixture of the quarterfinals. At the first meeting of your resistance, Mamelodi Sundowns have bowed out of the CAF Champions League. In the league, they've won internally, domestically, they've won the DSTV Premiership for the last five years, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, and 2022. In the CAF Champions League, they have been dropped out of the quarterfinals since 2017, 2018, 2019 a little bit better, 2020 quarterfinals, 2021 quarterfinals, 2022, today, minutes ago, quarterfinals. At the first meeting of resistance, Mamelodi Sundowns have bowed out of the competition. So, Vilagaz, the former Mamelodi Sundowns uh, forward, uh, we can't lie and say we didn't see, we saw this coming before uh, the first leg. Before we saw the first leg. Yeah. After we saw the first leg, yeah. we changed our minds a little bit. Yeah. Junior was very outright, we the Sundowns was going out, and of course there was resistance, we expect that. But, what we saw today, great fight from I Pedro Atletico. Ngulego. Uh, this is the highest, highest level of football in Africa. And uh, uh, when you play a uh, Champions League, you, 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 you need to be very careful and see I'm a strong point and a weak point where, 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 where my opponents are. I, 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 I strongly believe the technical team is sundowns they failed today. Uh, why I'm saying this is from uh, after 20 minutes in Kulego, Uralan was out of the game. Immediately, you know, I always say Kulego Guti, that coach we 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 read that uh, said against the Chiefs. I saw the Chiefs after five minutes. Could they play using the width? So what I will do is, as soon as they are with it, they go up. Then my players they need to make runs to those spaces. Today, you know, those are not, uh, Uralan was not in the game. Instead of making a change immediately on that, but they took time to go to Bam Change Oral. And I think Pume after about maybe 60, 65 minutes. And for me, it was too late uh, for, 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 for that change. Again, Kulego, uh, the balance, why get the balance? They're supposed to see again, go, okay, Petro today, their wingers, they're not staying up, they're coming back. It means now they're squeezing. Ulunduza na le with the sifuna yaraba niagumbrena no 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 la kengal. So it means the, what we need to do is to let's use la in the middle. But how? Because now they had umshishi, they had umayem, and I strongly believe good team. They were a bit not in barashile. Uh, for me, no, I keep my man on shishi because they had good combination. They needed an extra person of which was Ulunduza or Sereno to come in. For me, I keep my man on Sereno Lapan, and then you've got Ushalili up front, and then you've got this three behind him. And those guys, the good players, uh, the Bamnan, the Bakon, the combination play, they create chances, they can even score. But now, Gulero, Ibuela Peg 2. Say you go to level of our league, if 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 Sundowns, uh, a Pume go go Petro Athletic now go quarter final, the very same team that we thought to go to it's weak because we saw that team last season play against the Chiefs and we were like no against Sundowns Sundowns was in there. So but when you saw them first leg, we saw a very very different team altogether and. Uh, you know, tactically, uh, the way they're playing, they use their width, they use their wingers wisely. You know, they take on 1v1. In the middle, they compact. That number, number 14 of Petro, he's the only player that kills the Sundowns. Because what Umshishi needed, that space, 
in front of the defense of, of, of Petro. That guy was closing that space. Mm. So that's why it's so difficult for Mshishi to, to really play and get to those balls uh, uh, just behind Unduzan, Ushalulin. And it tells you, you know, they've got a good coach. Uh, that captain is a leader. Uh, wow, this team, it's, it's unbelievable. And the level that they're in, you know, when, when they want to play, they play. If they don't want to play, they don't want to play, they sit. Yeah, just just, just on that, so uh, there was a decision that they made, Ipetro Atletico, which they need to reinforce the defense, and they decided to absorb the pressure. And you and I were not happy about that, because uh, the question was that, why do you allow a sundowns, Ukala score, Ukala, and then you want to be reactionary? Because you never know whether or not you will be able to score those goals when you are chasing the game. But they did that, they absorbed, they knew what there's 45 minutes left, there's 60 minutes left, and they, 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 they attacked this game or approached this game in patches, in chunks. Play 10 minutes each, play 15 minutes each, and when the time was right, they decided to attack and they won today. Congratulations to them. Yeah, well done to them. You know, they, they, that's a good team. The, it's unbelievable the way they, they play, the way they use their width. And the way the they way. improve. It's, 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 it's something that uh, I, I think other teams, they need to learn also from, from, for, from a Petro good team. Sometimes it's not going to take you two years or three years to just, you know, make a change in the team, get a good coach, you know, that knows... Uh, knows what, what is it that he can do because you could see how these guys they play mm. you know when you see a team that has got a structure uh, oh now you can say oh these guys oh Pedro they use the width oh they are wingers they don't come back they attack you all the way they take you one view one you can see how they play you know and some applies to Sandra. look sometimes they have lost to a, 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 a very good team mm. they, they didn't just lost uh, to just a team. No, they've lost against a good team. If Petro is a good team, tactically, the discipline, that defense, you know, they just need to say thanks to the two center backs. You no, know, they were very good. No discipline. At some point, they had a high line. At some point, you know, they decided, you know what, let's just throw back and stay right in front, in front of our big box and they add the defensive midfielder of which that's number 14 to come between them to say look come sit here so that if there's any loose balls here then you can pick up and that guy Golero, he did very well you know well done to Petro and I'd like to Masanda one yeah last one uh, so I have to ask you this because um, it's a it's mixed feelings for Sundowns fans yeah. on the one hand you are winning your League title number five in the next two weeks. It's going to be confirmed. Yeah. Winning league title number five in a row. Yeah. Right? Um, at some point, uh, depending on what happens next week, you might win the NetBank Cup as well. Yeah. You won the MTN 8 already this season. So, MTN 8 league is secured. Yeah. NetBank Cup is still pending. Yeah. Where does this put these coaches, this loss? Because I do have a feeling, Yoguti, uh, Patrice Mutsepe, Tlope Mutsepe, in their minds, they know their strength. They know what you buy a South African Football League. Yeah. It, this is not their stage anymore. They want that uh, Kev Champions League. Where does this put these coaches then? Are they under pressure, even though they could win three trophies domestically? Gulero, they will be under pressure, looking at how they lost, especially uh, tonight. Because they, they, they too have players. They've got all the tools. It's only a matter of putting those tools together in the right moment and then they'll deliver i mean you still have abu rasmus he didn't play i mean a player that scored in the past uh, two games that he played and uh, he didn't play uh, tonight you know some of the changes that they did i understand when they've put ulunduza and usa franco but ingres the questions good now they normally play in the sundowns way mm. where they will unlock the defense with, with, with the you know passing the ball movement of the ball so that's where you see would oh it's a, now they've lost the touch. What does what does pressure on the coaches really mean? Like I I expect Sundowns to go all the way and win. So I have put pressure on them. Why I put pressure? Because they've got quality. They've got everything. So now that so, they haven't gone all the way, what happens to them? Because no, they're gonna but, win three trophies. Look, yes, you know, they, they, they just need to go back and analyze and and, 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 and and look at themselves in their mirror to say 
did you do the right thing? Did mm. you stick to the philosophy right. of sundowns or not? If not, then let's go back to that philosophy and then let's be, let's go back again and build it. And if we have to do some changes there and there, let it be. Because I believe Minoguti, look, they not Gulago, they've lost against a good team. There's not that yes, there's a the pressure because they've lost. But uh, no, they just need to be proud to say we lost against a good team. They gave us, you know, a, 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 a lot of thinking in, in now in the second leg because you know, first leg we went there thinking about the petrol and night right. chiefs and it didn't work for us. So they, yeah. I'm I'm so sorry. So there you go. That's I'm so sorry about that. Yeah. Uh, there you go. That's uh, so. Then wrapping up, summarizing his thoughts about Mamelodi Sundowns uh, and what happened today out of the CAF Champions League. And then, of course, next season they're going to win the DSTV Premiership and the next season and the next season in the next five years and so on and so on it goes. But the Holy Grail, the biggest thing that matters to them, they haven't been able to win since 2016. It's Disky TV, Disky Times, World Sports Betting. Thank you for watching.